Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today we're doing a gift guide. I asked on my Instagram if people would find this kind of useful. Um, so we're starting today with a gift guide for her. Um, also, I have a bit of a new filming setup, so please bear with me if things aren't quite right or if I'm not looking in the right place. I'm really trying. Yeah, so this is basically, I guess, things that I personally would like or I know that my sister or my mum or yeah like girlfriends would appreciate so I'm hoping this will be really helpful um, for those women in your life. The first thing which is probably quite obvious makeup. If you have a makeup lover in your life you can't go wrong with something that maybe is a little bit more expensive that they wouldn't purchase kind of in their everyday makeup routine. A couple of maybe more treat items I would recommend are the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Powder. I've had two of them, I think. Um, I don't have one currently and they're so lovely. They are expensive for a powder, but I would really recommend. Um, and like I said, if you do have a makeup lover, she will know what it is and would very much appreciate it, I'm sure. Any kind of Fenty Beauty, you can buy that in Boots. That's Rihanna's brand. Um, I personally have never had any, but I've bought stuff for other people and I believe they're gloss bonds, like a really good go-to, maybe around the £16 mark, so kind of like a, a little bit more luxury but definitely won't break the bank for you. Um, if you want to get something that's maybe a bit more special, I'd recommend a palette, like an eyeshadow palette. Um, if you're looking for a cheap one, definitely would recommend the Obsession palettes, I think they're about £10 in boots. Um, they make a really good like secret Santa or stocking filler or something like that. Um, but if you do want to push the boat out, the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette is a really great one. Um, I use that palette on my wedding day, I use it regularly. Um, it's great if you've got a girl in your life that kind of loves neutrals but also likes to play with a bit of colour, it's got a bit of both so it's a really good one to go to. Next thing on the list is bath bombs. Um, again, a really like self-explanatory one. Lush do great ones, other businesses do them, so do have a look around if you want to support something a bit more local. I personally am kind of more familiar with the Lush ones um, and you can get gift sets there as well, so definitely would recommend that. There's something that you wouldn't typically buy yourself, but are lovely to receive as a gift. Another thing that is already set up as a gift item is body shop gift sets. If the woman in your life kind of loves skincare but not really sure what they like, these are an amazing thing to go to. They're very simple to buy from. You can get some really pretty things. They do an array of things so even if you're not sure what they particularly like, you're bound to find something in one of the gifts. And again, not something you purchase yourself but would be so lovely to receive on Christmas day. Something for maybe the readers in your life, a book. A good book is something so nice to receive on Christmas. Um, I recently just purchased quite a few so I've filled up my uh, shelf a little bit but any book lover would love to receive a book. Perhaps ask them kind of the, the style they like or what they've already read. I know there's a lot of kind of crime thriller out there at the minute. Um, that's personally my favourite fiction. Um, so that's a really good place to start if you have a look on like Waterstones or WH Smiths on their website. They have a really simple um, kind of bestsellers page. So have a look on there if you know what style of book they like. Another great idea that I think would probably work for anyone um, in your female buying category <laughs> um, would be candles and diffusers. You really can't go wrong with them. It's not just a female thing. No, I would love it if I probably just bought him candles for Christmas. Um, if you want something a bit fancier, The White Company, they do beautiful smelling and looking candles. They're a proper treat, but if you do need something a bit more of a budget or not that bothered and it's just going to fill a gap, M&S and Next do really lovely ones. They do great diffusers too. They smell lovely. They look really pretty. Um, I think it's M&S that actually do the one that when you light the candle it then makes it all sparkly around. They're really nice, look lovely in a hallway or a bedroom or anything like that. So that is 
definitely a really good recommendation for anyone. Another thing is jewellery, again, real classic. Um, you know, if the person you're buying for wears a lot of silver, maybe stick to silver, or the same with gold. You can't go wrong with really lovely earrings or, you know, uh, anything Pandora is always normally a safe option. Um, some of my favourite jewellery stores are Lovisa. Um, New Look do some really good earrings and necklaces and things like that. Um, same with Topshop as well, you can get some really good high street jewellery that lasts for a really long time and makes for a really lovely gift. For those of you who maybe lean more towards buying experiences, um, but obviously might find that a bit tricky this year, photo shoots. Um, I think it's a really lovely idea to kind of maybe offer somebody a family photo shoot or a couple's photo shoot or maybe they would just like some really nice pictures to make them feel good about themselves. You know it's been a weird year that it's actually really nice to capture some memories with people. Definitely have a look in your local area, see if anybody is offering kind of gifted photo shoots. I know near me um, there's a really lovely girl, she's called she's called Nick Bev Photos on Instagram, I'll try and link it here. Her photos are stunning and she does offer a gifted package on photos so definitely check that out if that's kind of the way you do presents more than kind of material things. If you've got somebody in your life that's kind of really interested in sustainable fashion and is really trying to reduce kind of their footprint, there's some really good brands that do um, gift cards for their sustainable wear. Um, obviously it's not gifting them something but they can be more on the pricey side so it's definitely something that you know if they know they like a particular brand they definitely look into. Um, for me really lovely one is by Megan Crosby. Um, if you go check her out on Instagram I love her clothes they're really out there and wacky um, but they have such a sustainable ethical um, you know moral sort of ethos behind the brand um, and yeah she does gift cards so definitely check that out. Along the kind of small business theme I think this year we've all learned that we can support our small businesses a lot better. Um, some of my favourites are, right I'm just gonna have to put the name here because I'm gonna butcher it. Their gals from Wales um, have really beautiful hair claws, clips, um, they're bringing out a new range of scrunchies which I'm very excited about. Um, delivery is so so super quick from them, um, it's always packaged really beautifully that you could literally wrap that and give it to the person that you're giving to, they're a great one to support. Um, another small business is my friend Sarah, again I'll link it just here. Um, Sarah does kind of really beautiful painted prints cards she has a calendar that she's just released 2021 calendar that looks stunning um so definitely check it out and support her and she's so great she gives back to a charity called compassion um which helps children who need it most so definitely try and support a small business this year if you can they're just my particular recommendations and finally we all know you can't go wrong with chocolate but I'm recommending Hotel Chocolat, I think that's what it's called. Um, it's bougie, don't at me. Me and Noah tried some one year and it changed our lives. So I know it will change the lives of your friends and family around you too. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it there. I hope this video is really helpful. You maybe got some new tips or some new brands that you've never heard of. Uh, do let me know in the comments if you know any of these small businesses you've ever tried out before um, but yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye